الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون. الله سبحانه وتعالى says يا أيها الذين آمنوا O you who believe here Allah سبحانه وتعالى is alerting the believers أهل إيمان يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله fear Allah Allah سبحانه وتعالى is commanding us to fear Him تبارك وتعالى and every time as a قاعدة Al-Amr Yufid al wujub That when there's a command, it shows that that thing is an obligation. It shows that it's an act of worship. It shows that it's something pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah doesn't command us with something He doesn't love and with something He's not pleased with. Ya ladina amanu wa taqullah. O you who believe, fear Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with taqwa, commands us to fear Him. Tabarak wa ta'ala. And fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing His commands and avoiding His prohibitions. Ya ladina amanu, ittaqullaha haqqa taqatihi. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing how we should fear Him. Not just that we should have taqwa, we should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hadha wajib alayna. And that is uh, the sabila mu'mineen, that's sabila. Muttaqeen, that's the way of the muttaqeen, the righteous, the pious. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ladina amanu wa taqullaha haqqa taqati. So, how should we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Haqqa taqatihi. With the full amount of taqwa, with, with the required, with perfect taqwa, with the utmost taqwa, with striving our best to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the utmost taqwa. Ya ladina amanu wa taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun And do not die except in a state of belief. In a state of what? In a state of iman. Iman billahi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir. And tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir. You know, die in a state of iman. Iman of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. Iman for uh, the full Iman. Iman billah. And his angels. And his books. The books that he revealed to the prophets. Alayhim after salatu wasalam. And the, the messengers. Alayhim after salatu wasalam. And the day of judgment. Ahl Iman believes in the day of judgment. And... In the Qadr, the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that everything happens for a reason. Everything is, a, is in accordance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree. Have a, have a iman. This is iman. Have a faith. This is faith in Islam. So, la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. Do not die except that you are as a, as a Muslim. Meaning that you can die in another state. Meaning you can die on disbelief, on kufr, on ilhad was... Do not die except in a state of Iman. So, Ahabat al it shows us, yes, we can leave Islam. We're not guaranteed paradise. But we only get the paradise, we're guaranteed paradise. If we have the mercy of Allah, it's still, it's dependent on the mercy of Allah. And it depends upon Iman. It depends, did you die on faith? Did Allah accept your deeds? Did Allah forgive you of your sins? Did you die as a believer in Islam? Or did you die in kufr? With shirk? And one of the ways that you can tell that you still have Iman, and this is for those of us who commit major sins, or commit a lot of sins. One of the ways that is a sign of goodness, not that you commit sins, but it's a sign of goodness if you are afraid of leaving Islam. If you are afraid of going back to the life that you had before if you had tasted kufr. For those of us who are not 
raised in Muslim families. We didn't have the tarbiyat al-Islamiyya. We didn't have the Islamic upbringing. We don't have Islam, uh, Muslim relatives necessarily. We don't have this, we don't have that. But we hopefully have something of Iman. And even if you're sinning, and even if you're making mistakes, and you fear Allah enough to where you fear going back to disbelief, you don't want to go back to that other life. You don't want to because you believe in Allah, not because you were less comfortable in that other life. Perhaps some of us were very comfortable before Islam. Some people had wealth. Some people had all the things of the dunya, the delights of the dunya, but they wanted something more. They wanted that spiritual completeness. They wanted the truth and Allah favored them and guided them. Man yahdi Allah umatid. Whoever Allah guides, He's guided. Woman yudlil fala hadilahu. And whoever is misguided, there's no guidance for him. So, Ahl Iman, Ahl Islam, La illu antu Muslimun, do not die except in a state of Iman. Be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing righteous deeds and seeking forgiveness often and praising Him to Barak wa ta'ala. And don't give up. La rahmatillah. Don't have. Uh, don't despair at Allah's mercy that you are making mistakes and you have sins. But what's imperative is that you strive to come back and la tamutunna illa wa anta muslimun. Do not die except in a state of iman as a believer, as a Muslim. How many people do we know who died, who, who left Islam? Wa'iyadun billah, wa'iyakum min kufr. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was surely for myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.